Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be now doing my tier list now for Master Shanghai. And let's just get right into it. First start off with the 100 Thieves. They are the first seed for the Americas. And they could be pretty good. I'll be honest, they could be really good. I mean, from where they were during the group stage, absolutely they'll be better than they were previously. And I have pretty high hopes for this team. I mean, Boo Sugiyo, he's now come in as a really good IGL for this team. Uh, the comms have been also looking really better. EU, he has really improved uh, from kickoff, especially. Cryocells, he's doing Cryocells things still. And Arsenal Bang, they're still, they're still um, like support players, we'll say. And it's also interesting of the comps that they're also using as well. Like, Asuna will be one point to be dualless, and there'll be Cryocells. And it's kind of like... It's kind of like what NRG are doing with like with Demon One, for example, of like putting him on smokes. So it's like this weird thing, which is kind of actually working because of you know Tens being a former duelist player now switching over to smokes and Omen. It's kind of what Hundred Thieves are doing as well with Cryocells going to like Astra, for example, or Brimstone as well. So it is actually kind of working from this team, and they could be solid A tier. I'll put up a solid A. I might be a bit, maybe a bit too low, but a solid A tier, in my opinion, maybe 400 Thieves. Maybe they could maybe sneak their way to S tier, in my opinion. G2 Esports now, and they're also looking very good as well. I see he has surprised me during this stage, and he's he has slow he has improved from the start where I thought getting rid of net was a um, was a massive mistake for this team but it actually but it, but it actually ended up pretty well for them but the main one is valon i mean hell that he is just so so good so clutch in clutch situations like uh, leaf he has been pretty quiet trent he, he's had some good moments including jonah p as well but like leaf he's been pretty quiet i see was really good in the grand final though but this team has improved massively. I mean, Josh RT is still head coach, which is still great. Shaq is in as as, a, as the assistant coach. They could also maybe be A tier, in my opinion. I mean, it's difficult now in Shanghai because these like the, you know like like these teams that we haven't seen in international events for a while now. So they, I could easily be wrong. I just want to say easily be wrong. But comment down below um who you think w where these teams could really go. Next up is Leiton. Maybe I have a bit of a soft spot for Leviathan because I did put them to be one of the to be one of the best teams in America, and I still think that is a possibility. They still have all uh, all of their players: King, Tex, Mazina, Aspas, and Com. Got it. It's a Pitta uh, are still in it, and to be fair, they almost won against G2 Esports and 100 Thieves. So they are so they can definitely be very competitive against those teams and possibly as well against all the others as well they are versus gen g which could maybe be easy not really too sure but it kind of also depends of how much support that would that they want to give to aspas because aspas he is the playmaker if he gets three kills you win if he gets zero kills you lose you know so they depend so much on aspas that they need to put all their resources onto him and if that does happen, they could make, they could possibly, in my opinion, they could be contenders in Mass Shanghai. Like, 100 teams in G2, they could definitely also be contenders, in my opinion. But if we're talking about all the, like, the, the three American teams as a whole, of who I think is most likely to be Mass Shanghai contenders, I personally think it might be Leviathan. And that's a, maybe a bit of a stretch on my end, but I do have to say Leviathan might be the best America's team. Obviously, I might be wrong. Next up now is Edward Gaming as we now head over now to the Chinese teams. I think Edward Gaming is going to make a statement. They are, they can easily, obviously they can possibly maybe beat their, their best Masters finish which is 5th through 6th in both Madrid and Masters Tokyo. So they can easily do it, in my opinion. I think this entire team has improved. Yes, the Chinese region as a whole, like in the region, has definitely, I mean, some teams have definitely caught up to Edward Gaming. Now, hell, look at FPX who won against them twice in Sage 1. So, th like, the teams in China can definitely improve, like, have definitely caught up to Edward Gaming. But the real question is, has Edward Gaming caught up to everyone else in the world? I, I mean, I, I can, I can definitely see an argument that they have. But, I mean, 
they are definitely up there. I think they could definitely contend for wins against teams like 100 Thieves, G2, Heretics, Foot, maybe Gen G, but they can definitely like contend with those wins, and T1 especially as well. So, me, I'll probably maybe put them B for now, but they could easily be a low A tier, in my opinion. Fun plus Phoenix is next. And they were obviously a team to beat Edward Gaming for the first time ever since, when was the last, I think against Trace Esports, I think like last year or something. Um, they did make a change, they did add Guy Guy into, into the Assistant Courage role, uh, while, uh, while uh, Zhijiang, I think they say his name, he's a sub player and he's currently playing for another team I believe, so we just ignore him, but no, no, no other changes. To be fair, they did struggle in the Grand Final against Edward Gaming, considering that Berlin was the... MVP for that, but this team can improve. Life he has been crazy. Autumn he has shown that he can flex into other characters like Viper, KO as well. And hell, they can maybe bring out Clove as well for the first time in an international event. Life so he's been very consistent. A he he has been a, he has been uh, really good as well. And Berlin he is he has been a very solid IGL that can communicate in both uh, Mandarin or Cantonese and English. So that's at least a good sign there. But I don't think they are better than FPX. Have they improved from maybe where they were in Madrid? I think so. If they have beaten uh, if they have beaten Edward Gaming. But to be fair, they were actually alright in Madrid. They were actually kind of they were kind of maybe a bit better than I expected them to be. So I'll probably maybe put them I don't know, high C or low B. I don't know, like I, I just don't know because this team is just it's they're still a bit of an unknown just because of how crazy their playstyle is. So, I will maybe put them high C for now. I'll put them. I'll definitely put them on top of C tier, but they could easily make it up to B tier as well. Maybe the most questionable team is Dragon Ranger Gaming, because what are they going to put into the table on, on in an international event? Um, no changes as well. I guess the only one being Hato. He's now officially gone. I'm pretty sure that was actually only announced on Webo, I believe. But obviously, I might be wrong. But I this team is such an unknown. I think I, t I think. Players that we could definitely look out for are Bukashu and Tavarius Luke. Both of those players have been phenomenal. Um, Nick, he, he, he's been alright. He's the age has actually had some pretty good moments, I'll be honest. Sean 7, eh, alright, I'll say. I'll say this, they are definitely better with Sean 7 now in the roster like, instead of Dingwei. I don't know what was up with Dingwei, but he, I just didn't I, I just didn't feel the, the, the enough impact that Shana 7 is having with Jang Ranch Gaming, for example. And I think Yu Chien, I think he is now the head coach of the team. Well, I don't know, because he is obviously announcing, like, I guess, in uh, before the matches. So I'm I'm not really too sure if Yu Chien is a head coach. Maybe LT is the head coach. I don't really know what the, situ what the situation is over there. But it has worked, considering that they did make it to Mar Shanghai. So it has actually worked out for them. But this team is a big question mark for me. I'll put them maybe C tier, but this team have maybe has the I guess maybe a higher threshold of surprising me. They can that can easily easily happen in my opinion. Next up is Fnatic, and is this team a contender on Master Shanghai? Mm, possibly. Now let me explain. This team has struggled. From where they were last year, where they were, where they were the team to beat, and look like there was a fanatic dynasty happening, that did not happen in Champions, and they've kind of fell off there. I mean, kickoff that well, that was horrible. We don't talk about kickoff, but here in Stage One, they kind of struggled. Like they struggled out of the gates, obviously. Yes, they were like zero and two at some point, but then they slowly got momentum, and then they, and then they made it to the playoffs. They obviously won against Liquid and Carmichael. They lost against Heretics, and then they won against Foot and Heretics um, in the in the grand final to make it to Master Shanghai. So this team can is definitely capable of winning Master Shanghai. I it it just seems a little bit unlikely. We'll say that I'll say this: if Fnatic doesn't reach top four, top three even of this of this tournament, and that's a massive failure. Because this team has so much talent. All these players have won Miles events before. The only the only I guess the only person who hasn't won a Miles event is Elmer Putty, who is the head coach for this team. 
But this team, in my opinion, are S tier. Are they better than Leviathan? Mm, mm, mm. No, I don't think so. Because I have seen the holes in Fnatic, and it's quite compelling to say to le uh, 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 to, uh, to say the least. Team Heretics. Now this team has surprised me throughout this entire year. So let's get rid of Miniboo because Miniboo he's not competing on Shanghai. Palitech is now back in. I guess he's not the super self for Team Heretics. Uh, so the actual roster is Boo, Panatech, Root, Rians, and Benji Fishy, who has who has impressed me. Benji Fishy is a such a is such a phenomenal player. Of, like from going from Fortnite to professional tier one Valorant and being competitive like that is impressive to say the least. And I want to as well give a massive shout out to the coaches, Nazina and Weber. This like. Without them, I don't think this team would have actually been would have actually made it to mar to any milestone like Madrid or Shanghai, any of them. And I don't think as well this team would have actually been competitive without those two. Cause I am just impressed from where everyone thought they'll be. Everyone thought that they were going to be like, like the worst team in EU or somewhere around there. But this team has has not not even surpassed my expectations, but everyone else's expectations. So if there was a team of the year as of right now has to be Team Heretics because they have impressed me a lot. But if we talk about against all the Master Shanghai teams, uh, I'll probably maybe the safest one is maybe B tier because many booth he is kind of the star player for this team. But at the same time, there are still a lot of star players. Woot can impress me. Rians can, can impress me. De Benji Fisher can bloody impress me as well. So there are so there is a lot of talent in this roster that can surprise me. But if we're talking about, like, all, all, I guess, all the other teams in Shanghai, eh, not really too sure. I think they probably are better than Edward Gaming, in my opinion. So I'll probably put them there. For eSports, this is a bit of an interesting one. So they still have Mr. Fallen, Yita J at the captain, Senior and Cracks. They still as well have Guys and Sway as the coaches. This team could be really good. They... I, I'm just bit I'm I'm just uh, surprised that they actually lost against Team Heretics that badly, because on paper this roster could actually compete against Fnatic, for example, of being the best team in EU. Like look, look at this, like like look like like look at this roster. Mr. Fallen, best Turkish IGO I've ever seen. U2J, a young prospect from Turkey who has Im who has impressed everyone. And a captain, a jolly controller. Well, is he a controller player? No, initiator player. I'm pretty sure who is also amazing in clutch situations. CNED, an absolutely phenomenal duelist, and Cracks, a very solid support player. Like, this team is the best that Turkey can offer. Like, yes, there is Root, there is Rhines, but if we're talking about as a full Turkey roster, it is definitely this. But, I mean, BBL, they, they also impressed me as well, but then they kind of shat the bed. But this team, they have impressed me a lot. So... I don't know what to, where to really put them. Are they better than Team Heretics? I kind of, I kind of want to say yes, they are. That that does not like means that team that 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 they, that Team Heretics win against Foot. It does not count. Obviously, Heretics they played amazing, uh, amazing in that like in that game. But if we talk about like on international events, like maybe the only player I'm a bit worried about is Yitu J. Who hasn't played on an international event? I'm pretty sure, but yes, he did play in the Red Bull home grounds. But I mean, at least, at least that's experience for him. But if we're talking about like a full-on Masters international event, Heretics does have the edge considering that they were in, in Madrid. While for they only have like Yuta J, who hasn't actually played on on a full international event. So I'm probably, I, I maybe I'm maybe I'm rating Foot too highly. I'm maybe gonna put them in the bottom A tier because this team could create a lot of impact on uh, on this uh, um in Mass Shanghai. Next up now for the Pacific. I don't know why Paper X is, is in front of Gen G, but Paper X is up next. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I mean they are now back to their 2023, 2022 themselves where they just dominate in Pacific. They have Jing back in the lineup, Munyet, I'll talk about Munyet in my this week in VCT video because obviously he has left the team officially. But with this, absolutely an easy yes here. They are easily master Shanghai competitors and could easily as well win the whole tournament. So I am excited for this team and they could 
possibly break Pacific's drought of not winning a single international event for three, four years, five years even. So it has been a while. Um, if not, never. It's never happened before. But can Paper X finally break Pacific's drought? We'll see. Next up is Genji Esports, who could also be competitive. I mean, hell, they made it to the Grand Final Masters Madrid. So, they haven't made any changes, obviously. But I am a bit worried for this team. They, did, did, they didn't look like themselves in Grand Finals. Especially Carol, in my opinion, who struggled. Like, Texture, he was really good, like, always. Munchkin, he was also pretty good as well. But everyone else, they kind of just struggled. And I'm just... But I'm a bit worried for this team, that's all. I'm just a bit worried. Like, they can ease... Like, they're just... In, they're, in, they're a bit inconsistent, in my opinion. They're pretty inconsistent. So, could this team possibly, maybe, make it to the Grand Finals again? I don't know. But I need to see that consistency once again, like we saw in Kickoff and Madrid, especially. If we see that again, if we see that Masters of Madrid Gen G, they can easily be also be contenders, in my opinion. So, in terms of our power rankings, where I where they could be listed, A tier, maybe between G2 and 100 Thieves. You know, what? I'm I'm moving Edward Gaming up to A tier, in my opinion. I think I've thought of it right now, so I'll put Edward Gaming there. Um, but yeah, Gen G, they could easily impress me. But I'm a bit worried for the team as well. And is T1 the worst team in in Shanghai? Maybe. I mean, they can't. I mean, they came out of nowhere. Unlike what, unlike in with the hundred thieves, where they were actually quite competitive in group stage. T1 were not competitive. I mean, hell, they were the first team to lose against DFM. Lose. They were the first team to lose against DFM. You thought like bleed was gonna be the worst. Well, was going to be um, the first team to lose, to lose against CFM. Nah, it was T1. And that obviously caused a change. Yes, Carpe is listed as the IGL. He's not. It's actually x who is the IGL. Who have been looking pretty good now with x as the leader. Yes, he has been the leader before in CS when he was uh, the IGL for a Chinese Tyloo team, may I add. So he, has had, so, he has had experience of leading a i guess we'll say like a a bilingual team but oh I, I just say players i should say but i think this team does communicate in english uh because i was like carpe so i play both and speak pretty good pretty good english from their overwatch days i don't know about easy though but apparently easy is english is pretty good obviously really rossy and next year they can't yeah, they cannot learn korean by by like the amount of time that they are uh, that you know they can learn korean by so, I'm a bit worried for this team, considering that they were in such a slump in in uh, junior group stage, but then they turned it up massively in the playoffs, so where where really, really all matter. Could they maybe could they maybe be competitive? Possibly. I'm just not too sure because this team is such an unknown for like it's such an unknown team. I'll be honest. So they could may they're definitely C tier. Are they better than, than, than Dragon Ranch Gaming, or is that just because we don't have any info on that team? Because I generally think DRG can surprise some people. But T1, on the other hand, they could ease, they could also, but from their, I just can't get behind their slump. From, like, basically, yeah, like, from their slump, the group stage, from their group stage, I can't get behind it. So, Maybe I will probably maybe put them at the end of C tier. Maybe they are just last place, but I just don't know. But my God, looking back, this is such a weird ass tier list. This might be this might be one of my worst tier lists I've ever done in my life. This was horrible. <laughs> oh God, I, I nothing makes sense here. Maybe like the top three makes sense for S tier, but like it just gets worse and worse from down there. I'll be honest. Uh, but but now like you know guys to like comment and subscribe it would really, it would really help especially on this channel and comment down below as well on what you think as well of this tier little list and also give out your tier list as well down in the comments below so that's really bad for me hope you guys enjoyed it catch you guys next time in the next one goodbye